Hi, and welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther. Today is Saturday, July 3rd, 2021, and today's topic is called What? It's a collection of images and sky observations happening between June 25th and the 27th, 2021. And before we get into those observations, I'd like to say good day. Osio, how, buongiorno, guten tag, kia ora, jambo, kedu, buenos dias, bonjour, ni hao, cien dobre, konnichiwa, dobre wenya, anyo aseo, boetarji, dobre den. Aloha winala, kalimera, hudendach, and good day. And today's starter image includes words, wisdom, and spirit of the day. I'm going to leave these little descriptions adjacent to the cards up to you to read at your own time. For now, I'm just going to go over a couple of things that grab my attention on each of these cards. And to the left, we have the peacock, which not only has gorgeous iridescent colors, we've got the ranges, you know, from the greens, kind of like a sage green, and turquoise, and teal, and cyan, you know, going up into the violets and purples and all of that. But we also have this interesting arrangement of the um, the plumage here at the top, almost like an antenna going up to the higher realms and the spirit, you know, higher minded spiritual realms. And then it's almost like this can, you know, in a very beautiful and artistic way, pull down some of those energies and pull them through and ground them into the earth. So it's just really gorgeous. So of course, some of the symbolism of this is integrity, beauty, uh, spiritual insight, and especially when we strive to show our true colors within and be authentic to that. Now, what's interesting with the plumage is some people use the eye in the center of this to focus on, to meditate. Uh, also, now we jump over and we've got a little eye theme going on with Tiger's Eye for the stone, which is to overcome your fears. And now um, it can be used for healing psychosomatic illness or dispelling fear and anxiety. Uh, it also can help ground and center you even amidst chaos in the outer world and help you step into your own power and to overcome emotional blocks. Now for me, um, I never really resonated with this. I really appreciate this stone. I think it's gorgeous, but I never really felt a connection to it. So as always, and I've mentioned in previous shows, just find the stone, you know, no matter what people say it does, um, you know, find the one that aligns with you and, and it gets the job done for what you're looking for, whether it's protection uh, against spiritual attacks or dark energies or healing for the heart space or whatever you're looking for. Anyway, that's enough for now. Let's jump into the show. Now, whether you are new or returning to the show, I give you a big heartfelt thanks and welcome. Thank you for being here. If you are returning, uh, you may want to skip this bit. I'm just going over the basics of what I do and why I'm doing it. So if you are new, I'm just going to narrate some photos that I call original or enhanced. I enhance them just to better highlight what's going on in a given scene. And that just means that I've edited attributes of the photo, such as color, saturation, brightness, contrast, things of that nature. I also will occasionally drop in some letters just to help better focus um, on key areas of interest that we're going to go over. Now, there's going to be typically a lot more going on in any given photo than what I can cover. And so if I've missed something that you really would have rather me talk about, uh, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to put it in a future show. Uh, I have a little disc disclaimer here. Sometimes I will miss something pretty big and obvious just because there's so much in the minute scale and the bigger scale to find, um, especially if you're looking at this on a bigger laptop, uh, laptop screen format, you're going to see things in a very different way than if you look at them at a handheld device, uh, like a smaller thumbnail size um, image, because of the perspective and the scales, um, you know, the way our eyes perceive things, you're going to see things very differently in a different way. So I do recommend that if you have the capability um, you know, if you have a laptop open or, you know, bigger screen and a smaller screen open at the same time and you just kind of toggle back and forth with your eyes, look up and down, you're going to see some very different things. Otherwise, um, just enjoy the show however you'd like to. So I just use a camera phone for these images. And um, you're going to notice in all of the slides, it's going to just say strange cloud and quotes activity. When I say cloud and quotes, I'm referring to uh, suspecting that there's cloak and craft going on up in the skies. I've had some very specific evidence, even down to machine parts and the ability to sketch over craft in some of my previous shows, um, especially the one called Off-Field Sunset. I recommend you take a look at that one. But anyway, cloud and quotes is referring to cloaking material. Cloaking material I'm going to use my go-to as just being plasma. just means a heavier and denser material than cloud uh, or water vapor or cloud material that can help hide things in the skies. When I'm saying craft, I am referring to 3D, something very hard and tactile. You could walk up theoretically and touch it and knock on it. Or something very ephemeral and ghost-like, something like an interdimensional craft that phases in and out of state. Or it could be a 3D object that happens to be coming in and out of state. Or it could be something supernatural, like I get into the categories of sky wisps or air elementals on other shows. Have a look there. Now, I'm also, uh, when I say the craft, I'm talking about something that, yes, 
very much could be something that's military made, but more often than not, it is referring to ET tech, uh, something far more advanced and in many cases far larger than our, our human capabilities, even with some help, let's just say outside help could, could uh, accomplish. Um, but as always, I'm going to present my points of view on these and perspectives on these images, uh, but see what you think on any of them. Anyway, let's jump into the show. There's going to be some other aspects to cover, but we'll just take it uh, one by one on a case-by-case -case basis. So in this scene, we're looking north, uh, west, northwest toward sunset. We've got this white glaring energy burst here. Um, let's look at this with some enhancement first. So we've got a little bit of red pink happening around it too. Do look at my description box below for what I think could be happening there in generating this red pink color. Also, we've got this weird white mystery burst coming down this way, or is it going back up this way? It could be emanating out of this or coming down, it's hard to say. I'm gonna say that's some kind of artificial activity though, because there shouldn't be a, you know, a burst of white signature like this, you know, just in the midst of all of this quote unquote bluer, you know, material. Um, color. Then down here we've got gold in color, which is more like, uh, in keeping with our true original sun, how that would set. This white ball glare out is what I refer to sun in quotes. And if you look at my previous shows, you'll see that the whole exploration into the realm of artificial tech up in our sky, veiling our ability to see our true sun. And that goes into the realm of artificial sun, or solar simulator. There are patents pulled for solar simulators even in the 60s. Have a look around on my channel or other channels out there on YouTube. As always, I invite you to look at other Earth and Sky Watching channels and encourage that to kind of put the whole picture together for yourself. What could be happening in our skies these days? Uh, there are some pretty radical changes if you care to really look and observe. And I encourage everyone to go out two to five minutes a day if you're not doing it already. Take a good 360 degree look all around you. Notice cloud shapes and patterns. Are they moving across or are they just hanging there forever? Or stationary, um, you know, the different colors, even with the sun, there are definite large, vast changes happening. And of course, if you look at any of my previous shows, you're going to see me document them in detail. Anyway, let's move along. So for this scene, I'm just noting we've got, you know, the kind of a glare spot, hot spot of this white color with the reddish pink signature around it. Look, we even have like a triangle coming up here and a little weird object with this fuzzy stuff happening. And then we've got this, you know, white coming in. There's just a lot going on that just seems very odd with that. And speaking of odd, we're going to look here to the south. And it looks like just this big arm is coming down with these fingers, like it's grabbing a marble or a ball or a jelly bean. It's really weird. So we look to the right hand side. I didn't get to too much more out of this thing. Uh, it's just a strange overall shape. That's not a typical cloud whatsoever. So I'm calling that an artificial cloud. This has a slight triangular shape in there. So I just have a feeling all of this is cloaking craft or when I say craft, it could also be just an object or some tech of some type, instrumentation or a sensor. You know, obviously it's going to be impossible to 100% prove any of this stuff. A lot of it is by feeling and observation, direct observation. Anyway, here we go to another scene looking west-northwest. I'm going to kind of skip ahead to the enhanced version where we can see more. Look at this strange patterning here. Really, really strange. I haven't seen this object before. It's pretty straight down at the bottom. That's not a natural form. And then we get this dark, fuzzy blur out of an object. So again, impossible to prove 100%. But my uh, instincts say that's some type of cloaking craft, cloaking craft and this thing as well. Uh, let's move along. Here we're looking west. We have this weird little floating thing, little floater on its own with these like tentacles coming down of vapor. That's not an art. That's definitely not a natural cloud. And then compare and and then um, sorry, side by side with this thing, look at these streaks. These little, you know choppy little streaks and we have other strange stuff going on you know in no case is this you know regular traditional cloud we also have a hint of something radial happening back in here as a pattern so we're going to look at this with some enhancement and again not any of this looks natural then in the back at 8.1 that looks like a bigger you know shadowy imprint of a triangle I uh, can't really tell much more of what's going on in here but it just it has this all kinds of strange and then we're going to look at this one looking south. And what caught my attention here was this coming down on a sharp angle. Well, we have what's supposed to be more like a cumulus cloud here at the bottom, but they're very artificial looking. And also this one's going off on one angle and this is doing its own thing. Uh, so we look at the right and we just get at that definitely looks like an object to me because it's darker with it looks like, you know, tufted, you know, little concentrations of plasma happening all about it, wafting around it. I'm not sure what this is with its own color signature. Look at that pure curve, pure curve line. And then something weird's happening here. It looks like with a hole in it, like a sphere. Uh, it's a very odd collection of activity. Looks very interesting though. And then here we go, speaking of very odd collection of activity, look at this to the west. 
my goodness, okay, in no case is this normal <laughs> for clouds. Um, I've lived in this, on this planet for many decades, um, and especially in this area too, I know it well, and this is something we never would have experienced, um, you know, growing up as children and looking in the sky. I left the plane in here just to show for scale what's going on. Um, but look at, we've got all of this is insanely low into the horizon in the atmosphere, very local nearby. Nothing, you know, in the past would have been this low. And then we have something vertically shooting up. Um, we've got a triangular shape hiding in here, triangular ghosted shape here, weird ash sharp angles, which mean that's not natural cloud forming stuff. So let's take a look at all of this with some enhancement. I don't think I get to chew much more in this one, uh, but you start to see at B.1, you know, the outer, uh, very clear triangular equilateral triangular shape, the outline of one. There's one happening off here on angle two and a point here, you know, all of this, look at the straight, straight edges, kind of kite shape or diamond shape. It's not natural, artificial. And artificial then implies we're getting into the realm of craft. So look at C on this image. So we've got a triangular shape here on angle, and it looks like we even have a trail coming out of it with some textured patterning in here. So it looks like this thing was cloaking in here and then just zoomed out, right? And then this is going up this way, and then this triangle is actually steady and level. Got a weird shape going on here. Again, this vertical burst here. In no case is any of this uh, natural cloud. And we're gonna look at it with some enhancement to better see. We've got these things on angle with weird, you know, concentration of stuff floating around something more solid in, within it. We have a little bit of a crescent shape here, a pure triangle here, elongated triangle. We have all kinds of stuff happening all over the place. But I'm gonna move along because there's a few of these uh, similar things. So we've got a darker mass over here, a very weird shape here, like the end of a bone, like a tr traditional dog's bone. Um, something happening over here. So I'm gonna look at it with enhancement. And it's just really strange, you know, this looks like some type of, um, <laughs> like a peach pit or something, or like an upside down balloon with a little, you know, nib of it off to the, the back here without the string going up like an inverted balloon. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to move ahead. It's just the whole thing looks strange. Then we're moving to this one. We're zooming in on that crescent shape. See some little strange elements that I've flagged. I'm going to leave these to you to look on your own time. But look at D. We've got a burst of this crystalline structure that a cover another shows with a bright little point. And when I see those amidst, you know, darker background, really white, white, intense brightness uh, and very crystalline in nature, to me that is definitely something cloaking in there. Um, so let's take a look further. Look how bright that is amidst everything else being dark. It has some kind of structure to it. Back in here too, something is taking place. Then we've got at C.1, you know, some distinct object going on its own that way while this is going up this way. Everything else in the background is doing its own thing. Um, again, I'm going to just say it. There's cloak and craft or objects in there. All right, now we're going to look at this scene. The left is the original, the right's the enhanced. Let's spend time on the right-hand side. So what caught my attention here was just this, you know, how do you not miss, I mean, how do you not see this? I couldn't miss it. 8.1, sharp, sharp edge, sharp edge. You know, that's an oblique triangle, you know, just how we're viewing it. Uh, it's on angle. And then at B.1, there seemed to be a little bit of structure, you know, coming down here too. So I'm going to say something might be cloaking in there as well. Then this view, we're going to look north. The left is the original, the right is the enhanced. And we just start to see these weird shaped little objects, you know, coming out of the fringe of this thing. And especially up at 8.1, that's got its own darker purple hue and weird shape popping up out of here. And just strange little shapes in general. So let's take a look. We're zooming in again on that really strange shape. Let's look to the right hand side of the enhanced version. And here we go. We got with like these little legs coming off a body. It feels very insectoid to me. Um, and then we've got sharp triangles, you know, I mean, sharp lines and angles, you know, a couple of triangles paired here. We have other strange stuff happening beyond. Uh, see what you think's going on in that scene. But to me, you know, I've never seen clouds like this, you know, certainly not triangular shaped clouds in a natural cloud system until recent years. So something is going on with our skies. All right, look at B, we've got another triangle here and we've got some, you know, stuff wafting in front of it and something really strange happening here with the shape of this quote unquote cloud. So we'll look at the enhanced version and here even C.1 where my cursor is, we've got a triangle on angle, pure triangle here at B.1. Um, you know, what's going on with this cloud off to the right? That's not normal cloud formation. Uh, see what you think. Then we've got, we're gonna go back over to the scene to the west. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. We're looking to the west. And on A, we have a strange triangle shape here. Look at this doing its own thing, shooting up more vertical. 
other stuff coming in down. This looks like a cross on angle doing something. It's just strange. So let's look at the enhanced version to get at it a little bit better. And you can just see this looks like almost, uh, I don't know, like a sword with a hilt hitting something. I don't know. This, this whole thing has me puzzled. There's so much movement going off in different directions. Plus, it all has a, a fuzzy, um, kind of choppy character to it, which I refer to as staccato cloud when there's a lot of agitated movement in the atmosphere. So my theory on that is that there is craft above it or, you know, in it that is um, creating electromagnetic wave activity or other wave activity to shake things up. And then look here at D.1, this thing at the end, what is this? You know, it's got a clear shape and then stuff kind of like trailing off of it. This, this whole thing is quite an enigma. See what you think is going on? Okay, now actually I'm gonna hop back up. Um, at F.1, you see this thing kind of like pipe-like thing going up an angle and then bending back, dog-legging up. So we're gonna take a look at that F element and here we go. Look at this thing, what is that? That's no natural cloud, very bizarre. We're gonna zoom in on it a little bit more so you can see the structure and character of it. Look at that thing. You know, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's not a natural cloud though. All right, now we're gonna look at this scene looking to the north, northwest. This is happening on June 26th uh, in the evening, you know, just at sunset, like 8.07 8 p.m. here. So we're looking kind of at the fringe of a cloud, but we get this like burst out of this at A, weird little shapes, you know, coming in with a very angular shape here at D. So we're gonna look to the right, and again, we kind of just see something looks like it's masked behind this like plasma material. What the heck is C.1? That's not a natural cloud shape. We have these things which are parallel to each other, which look like they're objects or instrumentation or something, um, sensors or whatnot, with some wafting plasma material over them, um, or they're just projections off of some other craft hiding behind here, actually more likely. So let's zoom in on C.1. It's just really strange. So this is the original version. I also have tagged all these other little elements for you to look look at it in your own time after this airs. You can go back and replay it if you want, uh, you know, in slow mo and pause things. Here we go. We're going to go in with some more enhancement. Look, we got this solid object with these two little tail like things hanging off the back of it. Or conversely, maybe this is the front of the thing with the things coming out the front and that's the back. <laughs> I don't know. But it looks like it just like popped up. It looks like a vapor trail that it just kind of popped up somehow or. or Maybe it, you know, popped out this way. And this thing too has some movement, like something's jetting off of there and going into another dimension or something. This is also strange. Lowercase d.1 is a triangle. Lowercase b.1 is a triangle. It's just all kinds of strange. Then we're gonna look at this scene looking south at about the same time. And just what caught my attention is this whole strange assembly of quote unquote cloud. So this is not a normal cloud you know, formation, especially in South Florida where it's hot and humid. Uh, it's not all that windy and nothing would ever form like this in decades past. And yet now we have got these really strange shaped clouds and again at insanely low altitudes to boot. So now we also have strange disturbances coming up here at A through D. So let's just take a look at this with some enhancement and wow, a whole nother world opens up before us. So we have not only this strange shape still happening at B.1, but look, we have a darker color signature. It looks like some other object is happening. And actually this whole thing looks like the object, kind of like a little whale with a dorsal fin on the back, if you look at that being the front of the mouth, it's just kind of what I see for cloud play, but there is an object back in here. Maybe this is a separate object in the foreground in front of this thing with its own trail. That could be very possible. Uh, it could be an overlay of objects. We've got something weird happening up here toward A.1. And then we've got something weird swooping in down here in the background. And then E.1 is also weird. So this could be one long kind of, you know, like, like if you're kids and play with Play-Doh and you roll and make the little snakes out of Play-Doh, kind of looks like that um, at E.1. Really strange collection of stuff happening there. Now we're gonna look south again around the same time and just all of this is looking strange. What's really strange with this one is the F element, which looks like something just flew like a jet with its you know stream behind it, but in this case, it's one massive cloaking blanket. Zooming down here to F because look at this. There's no natural cloud that does this. It's also going to be one big craft, you know, and they were just seeing the, the front of it, um, you know, cloaked, heavily cloaked. And then here, what caught my attention not only was the strangeness of this overall cloud shape, which is not a typical cumulus cloud, no way you look at it, but we have B, we have like a wedge knife shape popping off of the edge of that, and we have some weird stuff happening down at E and D. So let's take a look with enhancement, and we can really see like a weird cross shape again. Uh, just all kinds of strangeness happening there, and especially at F.1, 
So we're going to zoom in. Sorry, this should say F.2. We zoomed in a little bit more. And again, we've got a darker body with cloaking material over it where we're looking at this F.1 element here. And it's just, it's a strange shape. That's not a cloud shape. No way. This thing too, that's not a natural cloud shape. Anyway, uh, G.1 I flagged because it looks like we have a pipe jutting out. That's the opening of the pipe that we're just seeing like half of it. The rest is kind of buried in plasma. So I'm going to say this does look like, like the uh, observation deck of a ship with the front of the deck. I think that is one big craft cloaked in there and we're just seeing machine parts popping out as I have caught in the past. Here also we have a like an arrowhead shape, perfect arrowhead shape happening with cloak at the end of this thing. So there's just all kinds of strange happening in that scene too. Oh, here we go. This would really be F3. Pardon the little lapse in getting the consecutive numbering. But anyway, here we go. Got the darker object with something strange happening off. Can I tell you what that is? Absolutely not. Maybe you have some interesting thoughts and ideas. As I always like to say, if you have anything based in logic <laughs> um, of what this could be, by all means, put it in the, in, in the comment section below. Or even if you just have fun, fantastical ideas of what you think that looks like, uh, throw it in there too for entertainment purposes and amusement. I'm all open to that too. Anyway, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and I'll be presenting a lot, uh, sometimes more questions than answers, but it's very interesting to look at and be thinking about what's going on in our skies. All right, now we're going to zoom in on that uh, part where I saw some interplay look like happening between the two cloud bodies. This is the trail of that F element going down across that way. And so let's see, here's like that knife-like shape thing popping out. Here's that cross-shaped thing let's look with, with some enhancement. You know, again, we see like it looks like a sword hilt down here with the blade doing something. I don't know, this is a point, you know, again, that doesn't happen in natural cloud systems like this, which this whole thing is not. Then we have a pipe-like element, you know, stick-like element coming at C.1. I'm going to leave that, you know, leave it like that for now, see what you, else you find. But we're going to zoom in one more time just to look at like these B and E elements a little bit more. And they're just strange, you know, there's no cloud that does that, a natural cloud, you know, especially at E. Anyway, see what you think. We also have these little weird bits flying off of here. All right, let's get into another scene. So now that now we're going to shift our attention. That was to the south. We're going to look to the north now and talk about strange again and what are not natural forming clouds. These are not. And they're very low in the atmosphere, extremely low uh, in altitude. So what the heck is this thing doing at BCD? What the heck is that? Uh, we got something that looks like it's springing off of this bigger body. Um, but I can't really tell you why this thing has leg-like things. <laughs> and then we have this thing with like an arm or a hose or antenna connected to this thing. What the heck? Let's look at it with some enhancement. And here we go. Uh, again, I'm going to just kind of leave it right here for you guys to look at it on your own. There's obviously something else happening cloaking in here, like an almond or a pointed elliptical shaped thing. God only knows what's in this mess, which is not a real true cloud form either. Very shaky staccato activity happening, staccato cloud activity happening over here. Uh, see what you think is going on. And we're going to kind of take a few more views at this just to see if we can get at any better what exactly is going on in here. So we'll look with some enhancement. And again, we've got a very specific shape here, which looks like it has plasma, you know, coating, uh, cloaking in front of it. Looks like a little other object is popping off of this one. And again, what is this thing? <laughs> Where my cursor is by D.1, what the heck is that? Um, this has a very specific triangular shape to it too, which looks like, looks like it has cloaking material wafting over it. Uh, you know, again, what is this? Lots of questions, see what you think. Then we're gonna look in at that object again with this thing coming up, just again to see with any a different enhancement if we see anything else. Here I see more of a, you know, very specific shape, like a stick-like shape popping off over here. You know, we see the end of what looks like a tri um, triangular form, the corner of one, a rounded corner, corner of a triangular shape. Just this is all kinds of strange. Then we get this bright white crystalline feature happening here. That's not a hole. That's an object, you know, popping off of the outside of this cloud. All right, we're going to look at it again. Just a few more views. I'm not going to really narrate these. I'll just leave these up to you to take a look at on your own time, see what you think is happening in here. Again, 8.5, so strange. Look at that arrangement. Okay, then we're going to look west and we're going to catch still part of that bigger cloud scene we were looking at before, uh, but things kind of changed along the perimeter to the west southwest. Let's look to the right at the enhanced version and look at this. D.1 looks like a pure craft with look at these like wings at the back and a point in the middle if this is the front or the bow of whatever ship that would be. Crazy how clear that is to see a symmetrical object at D.1. C.1 also looks like this could be a bigger, you know, pointed elliptical thing. 
that we're just catching the, the front end of, I'm assuming. And then here, this looks like something curved, swoop down. You know, that's the trail behind it coming down this way. Look at all of this activity. You know, that's, again, not natural clouds. So to me, it has to be cloak and craft, especially when you've got the symmetry and the geometrical shapes involved. We're going to zoom in again on that thing that looked like, you know, like with the two points and the, the point in the middle to it. Look at that. That looks carefully constructed. Even if it's not perfect symmetry, it looks like something intelligent. Now, actually, the more I look at it now at D.2, that could be part of a, a bigger object coming back here with something zooming in, you know, in the foreground in front of it. It's kind of hard to grasp what exactly is going on, but I can tell you it just doesn't feel natural and it feels artificial, so that's where I'll leave it. Now we're going to look north at 821 on June 26th, and what caught my attention was, again, this very rigid line cut through this overall scene, plus this insanely low cloud coming up vertical and hooking around doing a weird thing, isolated cloud, which again is just so bizarre. Then we look here and we get that red-pink signature. Again, look at my description box below for what could be generating that color. Got that staccato cloud activity. Again, something's disturbing this overall local atmosphere. Uh, you know, everything else is in focus, and this is the way it looks to the human eye. So something's choppy up in there, disturbing the atmosphere. And then look at B.1. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Symmetry on this triangle with sharp edges. I don't know what this darker vein or, you know, kind of a groove is running this way. No idea. This is a very curious situation. See what you think is going on. And then we've got A.1. Looks like something's, like, popping off of here with these weird markings which look designed. Let's see what you think is happening. Okay, then we've, this is obvious. I don't really have to say much about this. This is looking in the evening at, toward the east. And I just see this plain and clear, plain as day right there, right? <laughs> and there might be another triangle echoing up here, the darker imprint of one. And something happening this way and zooming off this way to create these grooves, these parallel grooves in the sky. Uh, then we've got the corner of something happening here as well where my cursor is. Sharp corner. We have darker bodies back in here as well. So I think there's a ton of cloaking craft. Cloaking in very different ways in that sky. Then we're going to look at this scene looking south. Oh, this gets really good. So we've got this weird stuff happening at A. And then look at B and C. Okay, we've got a vertical element and a horizontal right on top of it. What the heck? So we're going to look at it with enhancement. See what I mean? <laughs> I mean, that does not happen in nature. So this has to be some type of craft just like perched on top of this thing or this is in the foreground. But no matter what, in a natural cloud system, you don't have a vertical and something exact perpendicular right in front of it at the same altitude. That just doesn't happen. Uh, we also have at D.1 something pointed, something hiding in the shadows back in here behind the plasma. And then just still, I can't get at quite what's going on up here, but it's not natural. All right, plus we have the color signature. Let me go back. It was brighter red and pink back in there and nowhere else. Uh, so there's a burst of color signature. So there's activity going on in here. Look at this. This is like the back end of a bigger cloaking craft, if that's the front, I'm assuming, with a wave of, you know, a whole host of plasma wave coming over it. There's other stuff hiding back in here where my cursor is. That's what I'm seeing. See what you see. Then um, we're going to move up from that scene a little bit and look at D and E and some other characteristics of whatever's happening here. We've got this longer thing moving across with some regularized, um, you know, what do I want to say? Kind of like, you know, ribs in the void coming down. Looks very, very much like a, a designed pattern at B.1. Um, and then we get these weird bits and pieces popping up out of like this heavier, what I'm going to say, cloaking material. All the while we have this thing going off, you know, straight edge kind of arcing this way, if that's supposed to be a cloud in a peak shape, again, nice try, that doesn't happen in nature. And then this one is going off at, at the opposing angle. And again, if you look at the void of this, it's symmetrical. It's like an inverted triangle, angle, angle. And then this thing's going off on its own, and look, it even has like a straight line this way and this way. So these are not natural clouds. We're going to zoom in on those two things. And again, you know, we've got some little fluster of activity happening here, which shows there's some movement about to happen or did happen got a strange point here. Just all of this is bizarre. And then we start to see more solid stuff happening between A and B. So we're going to look at it again. And look at that. It looks like a sharp fin. That looks like a point, like a fin or a thorn, you know, on the top of this thing, presumably the top. And again, these are regularized patterning happening in here. So there's something of structure happening within this overall body. 
Um, I don't pick up too much more other than we've got weird jut outs happening on, look at this, peaks, peaks happening on the profile of this thing, which is I'm already calling artificial and flagging it. Also here to the right, look at that sharp peak and sharp angle. So I'm going to say there's cloaking stuff all over the place here too. And we're looking dead south and we get this weird red pink signature here and along here. So something else is going on with the colors as well. Okay, now if we have our little pier that we just looked at and look at it, it looks like they're bridged or docking in some way down here. Or my cursor is below at C and B. Uh, we look to the right and look who else is trailing through here. So I guess this is the trail made by this almond shape thing. I can't tell if this if G was moving toward B or if it was all moving to the right. I can't tell. Um, I don't remember. But anyway, this is a very specific shape with these legs you know, coming off of it. So let's look at this with enhancement. And look at that's not a natural shape. Looks very designed. Um, F.1, something else is looming back there in front of all this stuff. Uh, see what you think is going on there. We're going to zoom in on that G element too. And within it, it even looks like there's a triangular shape. So is this all kind of camouflage for the real essence of this thing? It's just one little triangle. Or is this overall thing a craft with that's an element of it? I don't know. See what you think. Okay, now we're going to change it up and look to the north northeast. And what caught my attention, obviously, on the left hand side was we have all gray at a very low altitude. And then we have like a reddish pink uh, and white burst of color signature. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. And uh, amidst that color signature, we also have the formation of like a triangular, clear triangular symmetrical shape here, a B. So we look to the right and we do see that triangle pretty clearly. And again, that is a very clear, odd, odd man out color signature that wasn't happening anywhere else, you know, in the sky. So I'm going to say that's being generated local, that there's craft in here doing it. All right, now we're going to look still north, northwest, and um, just strange, you know, profiles are coming off of this thing. Then we start to see a point, you know, kind of forming at A, and we see something really weird happening between A and B. Let's look to the right. What is going on? You know, very another burst of color signature that's much brighter than whatever's happening here. Clean, clean edge here. So what is that at B.1? We'll zoom in a little more to B.2. It's a perfect peak, uh, you know, perfect corner, if you will, or whatever tip of a triangle. You can't get any more clear than that and symmetrical. So I am saying there's tech in there or an object or a craft. See what you think. All right, now this gets really, really strange. So I was actually driving and had to put my hazards on to take a picture because uh, I could not not get this picture. Uh, I was coming up to a traffic light. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. This is, uh, you know, I took the cover from this. So we've got this long line on the left-hand side looking at the original. And then it does like a twist about or something. I, I don't know what's going on here. But then we have like a little block element like a, with shadow on it, like a... Um, what I want to say, like a square kind of shaped element. Uh, then we have what's supposed to be a regular cloud at B, but it also had an artificial feel. And look at it, it looks like something burst out of here and then flew around this way. And I don't know if something is diving down or what that's doing. Then we have this thing that's just doing its own thing, coming up out of nowhere, this little vertical noodle. Looks like, you know, that's not a natural cloud. And then something twisting around here and an echo twist here to the right. What the heck? So we're gonna look to the right at some enhancement. First of all, we also get a very sharp point. If you look at this as um, an imprint or a void, we have a little triangle come in in an angle here while this is coming up in front. I mean, this is so strange. I don't even know where to begin or end with this. But look at B.1. It's backlit. We get a truncated, elongated triangular form. Look at this thing even has interplay. You know, it's coming down like this while this is zooming up. This starts to have a curve and a point in the middle, like a radar dish or something in the middle. Uh, something's happening up here too where my cursor is and fizzling down maybe. This whole scene is truly, truly bizarre and I haven't had anything like this in any of my other previous shows. This is really unique, let's just say. So here's that, you know, what I was calling a, maybe a truncated triangle. We're looking at the top of it. Or actually it looks like it maybe goes up and it's a true triangle. You know what, I take that back. This thing goes all the way up. I think this is a part of a bigger triangle on a much bigger scale. We've got something weird coming through at A. And then B is that, you know, tip of that, look at that perfect edge of a triangle in a negative or void imprint style. Um, then if we look at C, that also looks like a sky imprint. Like if you follow my cursor, that would be the bigger triangle. Uh, I don't know what's happening here. I really, really don't. Uh, we've got weird things echoing here, weird things kind of trailing off here on the fringe of this thing. And then A.2, here's where I see that like curve and it looks like something popping out with dimension to it. So like the middle of a, some type of dish. 
circle anyway, see what you think is happening there. All right, well, this is the photo of the week and the close of the show. Now, this was interesting. So what I'm doing here is, um, if you look at my one of my previous shows that talks about the, uh, the Nightcraft sky battle with the lightning in quotes, I highly recommend you go see that show. Uh, that was like one of a kind that I've had, and this is my 95th show. I haven't had anything like that either. But what I started doing was videotaping lightning as it was happening near the, the near full moon, and it... it it, it gave me a great opportunity to backlit some stuff. So here's the lightning, quote unquote, lightning flashing behind with this cloud, you know, bursting in brighter color signature. And so what it did was highlight what was going on with the plasma and cloud, you know, beyond that you couldn't see otherwise. So look at this at B. It looks like there's a big, you know, trail coming in, dark trail. And then we have like this walnut shape. It actually looks similar to that element in one of my previous uh, slides on this show, uh, you know, with something kind of split in there, so the overall walnut shape, really, really strange. Then at C, looks like a more of a triangular shape. Um, anyway, see what you can see going on in here. I thought it was extremely interesting. And we've got a different color, you know, burst coming off of what's supposed to be the moon versus what's supposed to be the lightning. Anyway, that's it for now. So <laughs> I want to say thank you for hanging out here a while. Uh, again, I appreciate your time, and I hope you enjoy the show. And otherwise, I wish you an absolutely gorgeous right now, a gorgeous weekend coming up wherever you are in the world, whether it's daytime or evening. Best wishes to you. Tremendous peace and love. Lavender Sky Panther. Bye. <laughs>